hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please take time to subscribe down below hit the little bell so you miss any of my content and if you get back hey mamas so many reasons we are on for you ma <laughs> those that are new my name is Camille Smith I'm a chemical engineer social entrepreneur and content creator based here in Philadelphia and we're gonna get into a little vlog today is Friday I think I feel like the time between Christmas and New Year's isn't even a real period of time but yeah today's Friday yesterday was actually my parents 32nd uh, wedding anniversary which is very exciting um, so I have a little bit of a late start to the day I actually basically just went to Target and I re-upped on a few things. For those that are new, I actually became a Target creator recently. So for you guys, that really just means that you can shop all my favorite Target products on my storefront. Um, and I re-upped on a lot of my favorite stuff and this stuff is in my storefront. So um, I love to use Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash. Had to get that. I realized when I recently took a shower that I was running out. Um, I also have been using Everspring's hand soap recently so i'm running out of the this is actually a new scent that i'm using lemon and mint i usually use the lavender and bergamot mm -hmm. um and then in my last video all of my candles decided to die at the same time so you know that target has like an amazing like tar um target has an amazing like candle section so i got the go-getter it's featuring bubbly notes of champagne and success mm which makes perfect sense for today because we're going to be goal setting i'm actually headed to arterial now which is my favorite coffee shop in philadelphia it's black woman owned it's owned by two sisters um to really sit down for three hours and goal set and just figure out what i want to do for 2024 we definitely are going to be cleaning as you can see my kitchen does not look nearly as beautiful as it did last video but again, what did I say? It's it's hard to sometimes keep up with things. So we're definitely going to get into a little cleaning montage for sure. Um, my kitchen, my bathroom, and my living room as well. Again, my room is still a mess, but it's fine. And after goal setting, I'm gonna come back here, goal set with my booty. Um, and then go to a solid core class. I have a solid core class at 6.30 with Yemi. Love her down. I actually went to my hardest solid core class yesterday. My butt was literally shaking the first exercise in our leg sequence. I'll get into that later. And then I'm actually going to be going out with one of my friends, Carissa, because today's her birthday. So pack day. And then we also have a few things tomorrow, too. We have a day party to go to. I'm going to take y'all with me just so I can show y'all, like, the Philly social scene. I feel like... People always be talking about New York and DC, but like Philly definitely has some social scenes. You just have to know DJs or just like the, the people that actually be throwing the parties. But I'm gonna take y'all with me. But I'm supposed to get to Arterial around 12. I need to drive there now, but let's get into it. Now it is that time of the month for me personally. So I'm dressing very comfy. I have, of course, this hoodie. I think I've showed this to you guys before, but it has like the satin lining. Eventually, I want STEM social hoodies to have a satin lining because I think it's literally so cute and very black. You feel me? Um, this is my go-to bag. I have my computer in here, uh, chargers, a bunch of other stuff that I need, um, some waters as well, and yeah. And then I'm going to, of course, bring my tripod as well, maybe get into a little goal setting montage you feel me but i literally charged my camera last night and then i tried to turn it on today and it didn't turn off so we're gonna see how much footage i can get before it just randomly dies but let's get into the car and get to our material i also think realistically i'm gonna take all day tomorrow morning. no no are you done as I was saying, as I was saying, I think I'm literally going to take all day tomorrow before the day party to literally clean my place. So there definitely will be a clean montage in this video because I can't go into the New Year like this. And I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to do anything for New Year's. I don't usually do anything for New Year's because people be scary. Drinking and driving and driving and drinking and all that stuff. So I don't know. But tomorrow for sure I'm just going to clean everything because I got to start you know? Alrighty. Just 
please. All right, yeah, we're gonna go over there now. <sighs> Always something. I'm really excited for this. Like, y'all know, y'all know I love goal setting. Okay, y'all know I love goal setting. So this is gonna be really, really therapeutic. Very, very good. shouldn't actually be that far. Is this the middle of the day? I'm gonna take, no, I'm gonna take. All right, I'm gonna get there five minutes late. <laughs> this is one of my favorite views of the Philly skyline. My fault. Damn. I mean, I was gonna go green, but alas. It's right off of Spring Garden. All right, y'all, we made it to the coffee shop. Again, literally my favorite. I'm gonna get some hot chocolate and start goal setting. y'all that was a very good session i feel like i made a lot of progress something that i'm trying to do a little bit different for this year is to obviously like i do like intermediate goals but especially for like my content strategy um really like planning like taking time to legitimately plan you know what it looks like what i want it to look like so on and so forth I'm about to head back to my crib though. I'm gonna order some Indian food because I'm very hungry. So let me order that right now. <clears throat> oh, there's actually one close to here. Don't want that one, I want this one. Text that. Hey, how are you? Hi, can I place an order for pickup, please? All right, well, what can I get you, miss? Can I have um, an order of mango chicken, please? Spicy. Okay. Spicy, okay. Uh, and then can I have an order of garlic naan? Okay. A order of vegetable samosas? Okay. And then um, I'll do two mango lussies, please. Two mango lussies, okay. And just so you're aware, I do have allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, and sesame seeds. Okay. Um, and that'll be all. Okay. All right. Uh, good job, Thomas. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. All righty. <clears throat> Hopefully, it doesn't take that long to pick or to get home. Dang. This traffic was up. All right. Then we're going to go home, eat some Indian food, and do joint goals. I'm not going to show you all that because not too much. And then I'm going to regroup with y'all when we go to SolidCore. I'm really so excited because I did a partnership with a brand earlier this year. Well, not that too long ago, but uh, my check got lost in the mail. And I reached out to them and I was like, girl, I didn't get it. But I just got to check in the mail, so you know I'm about to cash it. I also have a ton of PR, honestly. 
I'm gonna open it with y'all after I finish the liqueur later because it's damn near like Christmas. I don't know why I don't. Well, I do know. I feel like a lot of times when I get PR, like the boxes tend to pile up. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna open the PR and then we're gonna throw the boxes out immediately because we're adults and we can do that. Are these clean? No. Why can't I start my dishwasher? I'm so sick of this. Oh, so now you wanna start. Hello? Start and on heavy. Period. So I still have to clean my dishes. We are off to solid core. I have my health aid. It's the lady app or the pink lady apple one. It's not my favorite flavor, but I'm gonna have a little something. Have my cute fit on, my leggings. Again, I'm gonna try to bring y'all to solid core. We're gonna see. We gonna see. But I'm a little bit tired, which isn't good since I'm supposed to go out. But I do have a Celsius in my fridge and I will drink it if I have to. Hopefully not, but this is it. Got my camo leggings on. I think my top is right swim. Y'all can see it. Alright, hopefully it only takes me 30 minutes to get there. I left a little bit late. Supposed to have a call with my dad too. Alright. I'm really supposed to get there at 6 30, so let's go. We are late as hell. They definitely started, but they have the five minute rule. 2021, um, we have a few more classes before the new year. My last class of two, we just really want more. So this is from Nicole, we'll take my class like two days in a row, and she really loves it, so maybe you join her, who knows. And with me, if you have any questions, I'm happy to help answer anything that you might have. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Enjoy your weekend and your new year. Happy new year. I love when I accidentally see Benita at classes. That made me so happy. She literally parked right next to me too. Actually, I parked next to her. She was here. Um, that was a great class. Yummy. Did it again. Per usual. Um, I feel like honestly, her classes are the only classes that like make me sore. Like now, like that was like my eighty. I want to say that was my eighty seventh class. I think my butt already hurts. Please, please. I just missed her, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that was my 87th class. Big pair. We're about to go home. <sighs> take a shower. Actually, I'm probably going to clean, take a shower, lay down, and then I'm supposed to meet Carissa at time at like 10 o'clock. So we also have to, you know, get dressed. I have to see what the vibe or what vibe she's trying to go for. <sighs> Ciao. Let me know if y'all would come to a solid core class. I did a solid core private event last year in January, this time actually. Um, yeah, and I would do it another one if you guys are interested in it, but we'll see. I literally sat in my car for like 30 minutes. I was making TikToks. I'm so happy that I finally got back on TikTok because I definitely haven't talked to y'all about it since I just started making videos again, but I don't know. I have like a love-hate relationship with TikTok and meh, but excuse me there's too many people that can benefit from hearing my perspective and perception on things so i'm back on the black woman is them <laughs> wave i don't know <laughs> but now i have to rush because it's 8 30. so no cleaning montage today so it's definitely gonna be tomorrow um I'm gonna go upstairs, take a shower, I have to text Carissa, see what she's wearing, and then <laughs> we gonna skedaddle. We gonna skedaddle. Oh, I don't know. I feel like honestly wearing all black would be fine, but I'm not wearing heels. That's one thing I know. I'm not a heels girl. Never was, never will be. Okay, I'm flat footed. 
I'm thinking of the all black look. So, we all see. I didn't even get to show y'all my outfit, but me and Chris decided to go very casual. So I'm literally wearing jeans, sneakers, and yeah. What I met recently is actually a DJ in Philly, and she invited me to her set. So Chris and I are actually gonna go there around midnight. Um, I think that'll be really nice. I've also never been to Winston on the Water before, so I think that'll even be nice because I've never seen the venue. But right now I'm gonna be headed to time. I'm gonna be driving tonight. So no drinking and if anything, a drink. The wash and go did her thing though. Yeah, I don't like how flat it is, but we gonna work with it. Okay. Let's give it all round. Alrighty, since it's pretty late, there shouldn't be any traffic. Yeah, there shouldn't really be any traffic. The only issue is parking. Hopefully I find something. We gonna stay positive. And hopefully my hair actually gets lighter or lighter gets bigger as it dries y'all i actually found parking and this was like in the same exact place as the last vlog i'm not gonna tell y'all what i am because i don't need this part this street to start getting booked up but I'm about a four minute walk, so I'm gonna walk over there and meet Carissa. Her Uber apparently is driving slowly, so we're actually probably gonna get there around the same time. Philly in the winter is so pretty. All right. It's only like a four minute walk, which is nice. It's so interesting to me, like the demographics going out in Philadelphia are so different so different this was literally my favorite street in the summertime i would always go to jury's beer garden but right now we're going to time Pretty sweet, can't be bitch. Tell me, love her till the morning. Nah, nah, nah. Love her till the nighttime. Nah, nah, nah. I don't get nobody. I don't get nobody. How are you feeling? Good? Now we're going to the Winston. Winston on the water, right? No, not on the water. Just the regular one. Just the regular one. All right, y'all, we made it. I've never been here before. So. Winston, it's owned by Ryan Dorsey. He's a great guy. He owns the Winston on the water. Period. It's Except they have the Emerald Room and the Ruby Room now. Period. Are we? We're going. Yeah. Okay. We're going to the Ruby Room. Even though that's literally my song. Let's talk money. Oh, that's crazy. Show your shots, ladies. chips over here. I had to record a bunch of stuff. Um, 
all y'all need to know i got wawa my wawa order i get an italian hoagie please italian hoagie extra mayo extra oil and vinegar with pepperoni toasted with lettuce and tomato i inadvertently got a very large bag of chips which i will not be finishing And unfortunately, they only had Fanta, not Welch's. Welch's objectively better. But this will do. I tried to stop at McDonald's, but the McDonald's that I was near is notoriously a bad McDonald's. So. Yeah, clearly. And the Wawa was literally so busy. Yeah. I'm about to eat this and knock out. I'll catch her tomorrow. That's why I can't get caught up. We could have been and we try to pretend. And now when it can, we don't dream about them. drink this i've been just trying them i really wanted a frother and i saw it in target and i've heard a lot about the bloom like green powders or whatever so it had a frother and then like i think six packets of it so i've just been trying it to see if i genuinely feel like i'm not as bloated i haven't come to a consensus yet i'll let y'all know but let's brush our teeth You sensitive because I'm sensitive. And this is the electronic toothbrush I talked about in the CultureCon video that I forgot to bring to Dior. Gotta make sure the teeth are pearly. This one is mango flavored. It honestly doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> I think for the matcha drinkers, it literally tastes like matcha. I also don't really like matcha all that much. It's like flavored matcha. In my personal opinion right now, it just makes me more like gassy which is fine you know because i guess like the gas isn't staying in my stomach or like it makes me burp more but i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna actually start doing that but that is what my morning routine has looked like for the past x amount of time i also want to do my skincare because my skin looked crusty this morning but i like to see we don't put in our contacts. But last night was fun. Um, I went to um, the Winston, which actually I had never been to before. I told you that yesterday or last night. Um, this girl I know was DJing and she literally did such a good job. Um, I wish I could have stayed longer because we ended up leaving to go to another spot. But it was nice, and apparently Winston has um, a really good after hours. Eventually, I'll give y'all a rundown of my skincare cabinet. Um, but I told y'all I did recently go through it, so these are all products that I do use. We're gonna keep the skincare routine very chill today. I have been double cleansing though, so I probably will double cleanse. Since my skin is freaking out, I'll probably do 
um, Coco Kinds. Focus on me. Coco Kinds um, AHA jelly. Um, and maybe match that with Fire's Hydrating Milky Cleanser. Both sold at Target, both of my storefront. Um, definitely been obsessed with snail mucin recently, so I'm gonna hit y'all with some snail mucin. What else? What else? And then I'll probably just do. Oh, I have recently, like, Osea has a. It's called Ocean Eyes, like little eye thing my eyes have just been very puffy recently i'm not totally sure why but uh and then we'll probably just go in with i think i used this in my previous video with the glow recipe plum plum hyaluronic cream she is that girl very much so <laughs> is to create a sustainable like posting schedule for myself on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Uh, so I'm actually going to batch create a lot of LinkedIn posts. Um, literally in my Notion, like I like wrote down like what each LinkedIn post is going to look like, um, what it's going to be about, and like which date I want to post it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that right now. My first one's going to be about things I wish I knew before I went to STEM. That's actually a TikTok series that I started a little while ago that I initially started growing my page. And I want to bring it to LinkedIn. But it's about 12 o'clock right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, something happened that irked my soul. So after I probably schedule like three of these, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down. Um, but I do have tickets to this event later, which I think will be super fun, hopefully. Um, and yeah, so that's all I got for y'all. Hopefully I am able to clean up a little bit today, since that literally was the point of today. But life, life's occasionally. It's fine. So I scheduled, I want to say 10, um linkedin posts so we'll see um i'm kind of excited about it honestly but i definitely am still gonna lay down a bit um again it's always something it's always something girl my like, dang but this would be good um i also literally wrote out to like what I want my YouTube videos for January to be, what I want my Instagram content for January to be. Um, I low-key actually could make some of these videos too because January is right around the corner. Um, but yeah, low-key, maybe I'll try to put some of this together as I'm kind of laying around, but yeah. It's always something, y'all. But, again, I'm just really happy with, like, being back with y'all and being able to share my life like this. Um, I think my YouTube has a very unique opportunity, and so do I have a very unique opportunity to, like, share, like, genuinely the ups and downs. And, like, if I'm feeling happy, if I'm not feeling happy, like, you can't have a long form vlog and like be have an attitude or like something doesn't go right and like not show that you know or at least i'm not very good at it <laughs> so um yeah definitely gonna lay down for a little bit but i'm really excited about this really gonna come correct and intentional on all platforms and again
and y'all gonna get the behind the scenes the ins and outs of how I'm doing it so let me go lay down a little bit before uh, I have to get up again to get ready it's about 125 right now so talk to y'all soon I moped around for an extended period of time probably a little bit too long but I have to get up because I have a few things I have to do I decided to go with all black fits for tonight you can't go wrong with all black black halter top black cargos I think these are actually from Target which is funny um off off black denim jacket and some booties I'm not wearing heels because again I'm not a heels girl did my skincare again to make sure my skin's very glowy you feel me um right now I actually have to drive to somewhere for birthday boo festivities that are coming up just to make sure everything's aligned in order then I'm going to go to I have a few stops to make <laughs> I have a few stops to make um, so I'm leaving a little bit earlier I think it's around like 5 30 right now uh, I have to get to the venue by 7 30 um, which is very feasible I also have not eaten today so I think I'm gonna stop by Chipotle first even though I said I wasn't gonna eat Chipotle that's gonna be a January goal it's still December um, we're gonna stop by Chipotle get some food go to the one place make sure everything's in order and then go from there and head down to this little event I also found out it's another one of my friends birthday so I might have to pop out just to buy her a drink and then go home because I'm not staying out late I got home late as hell yesterday, as y'all saw. So, we not doing that again. Alrighty. Go put that back there. So first stop is gonna be Chipotle. So I can eat something, cause again I haven't eaten today. It's a little cold out here. Eh. I also decided to bring my sunglasses Really just to keep my hair out of my face, but in case I have to put them down later. It's cold out here. Alright. So, let me put y'all on game. I get a bowl. Well, I can switch back and forth between a bowl and a burrito. But when I do get a bowl, I get three side small tortillas and I'm not gonna shake this up because they did not um, put this tight enough for real so side tortilla right I get white rice no beans chicken fajitas light hot salsa equal parts sour cream corn and light cheese right so it looks like that. Yeah. Then we're going to get our vinaigrette. They started getting... Once people started like finding out that the vinaigrette is like necessary when you eat Chipotle, they started getting like stingy with the portions. But that's fine. Put that on there. Okay, mix it up. Get in here. Again, one of my goals for 2024 is really not to drink all that much, but I do recognize that I realistically probably will drink something. So, I want to make sure that I eat a legitimate meal before I do so. Mm, I know this is going to be a good bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to taste the bowl before... I do anything crazy with it. Literally, I'm salivating. I eat Chipotle so much. I literally saw this this article saying that this basketball player that went to my to went to Villanova ate Chipotle every day for the past like ten years. I'm like, you're not special. <laughs> Me too. Where's my article? Cheers. Mhm. Mm mhm. Right. I get three. 
These are usually hot as heck. Roll them back up when you're not eating the other ones. So you want them to stay hot. And you pack this like a taco. This way it's like you can kind of get the best of both worlds. I personally like um, the burritos just because like the tortilla tastes good, you know. But this way you can get the taste of both. Who's texting me? Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, that's a good portion. Yeah. Because you don't want to pack it too much because then it'll fall out. You feel me? Mmm. So bomb. So bomb. Thank you for eating this. I'm gonna go to the next place. So the stop I was trying to make did not go the way that I needed it to. So now I'm a little bit nervous, but I ended up driving to now the event. I found free parking. I screenshot it. The park mobile app said that it was free, so if I come back to a ticket, I'm gonna be pissed. But we're now walking. The only issue is my ticket was supposed to be honored at by 7.30 and it's 7.35. So we gonna see. And I'm meeting up with my friend India, but she's gonna be a little bit late, so I don't know, child. I don't know. It's only gonna get you high. y'all that was cute and fun um i'm walking back to my car everybody say a quick prayer that um i don't have a ticket because again park mobile said i could park there so let's hope for the best i see a cop car parked but not active so hopefully um but we're actually about to go to another place called frame so y'all are really getting the tea on Philly nightlife, which is very nice. Frame is like a cute bar, it's more open coming. You can have private events there. I've thought about having a private event myself. Um, we gonna stop by there briefly, and then I'm gonna take my, excuse me, my butt home. Let's see, is there a ticket, is there a ticket? Oh, thank you, Jesus, there's not. It's literally right next to her. There we go. Wow, that's, Dope. Parking on Broad is always such a gamble. Um, Cause it's always like pretty lively over here. And you don't want your car to get side swiped or like whatever. But, oh, it was cool. Yeah, so that event like Patron recently released, um, they released a new type of tequila. It's a Blanco tequila. It tasted cool. It definitely like, it's weird. It like tasted sweet, um, which was interesting. I'm like huffing and puffing because, <laughs> whew, man. Um, you know, that was cool. But we're gonna drive over to frame real quick and, and kick it. Wow. Everyone say hi to the vlog. I FaceTimed India and Michaela. I said everybody say hi to the vlog. Not hey vlog. Period. <laughs> oh, India looks so cute. <laughs> All 
all right y'all that was short-lived because realistically everybody was going to be eating and Indy and I didn't want to wait like an hour, hour and a half until people actually went upstairs to like, you know, start conversating, drinking, whatever. So we about to play the crib. <laughs> My thing is, and y'all will learn, I'm the easiest person to get along. Y'all don't want to do something? I can go home, you feel me? So I'm about to, yeah, we just go play the crib. Which honestly is fine with me. The girl's tired. But I feel like a lot of times like people always think about New York City or DC for like nightlife, but Philly definitely has some things going on too. It's just really a function of like knowing there are people or like knowing certain DJs that you like. Um so and again frame is super fun usually, but like we were just tired at this point. <laughs> Appreciate y'all to get into the end of another vlog. If you got to this point, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the little button so you don't miss any of my content. And I'll see you next Sunday. I will see you in the new year. And I'm wishing you a very restful, productive, um, safe, and comfortable, and healthy New Year celebration. And again, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.